Hi, this is Mark from Mark's Mandalas, and welcome to Lesson 6. Uh, lesson 6 is going to be your first opportunity to rely solely on the, the guides and the visualizations that you've been shown in the earlier lessons. And I'm showing some examples of those right now as a quick refresher, such as the triangle, the straight line, and uh, trying to keep balance as far as the space between the dots on either side of the dot you are currently painting. Um, I'm also starting off in the first circle of dots with the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or north, south, west, east visualization that I've been uh, talking about and practicing in every lesson. And learning to use these visualizations and guides eliminates the need to use drafting compasses and stencils to create the lines and grids that you may have seen other people utilize uh, because you're going to be relying on the previous circle of dots you've created and the different guides and visualizations that you've learned, those are going to be your templates and your drafting compasses, and you won't have to take the time to draw them all out ahead of time. I wanted to also mention how we are actually going to be using six colors in this uh, lesson six, and I hope that you've enjoyed playing around with different color combinations. You do not need to use the same colors that I use in these lessons. Uh, but I would like you to use the same number of colors. Uh, this is especially important, I think, for those that have never done this before. I am trying to limit how much information you're trying to process, as I don't want this to become overwhelming. This is about having fun, relaxing, and discovering the world of dot mandalas and dot art. When this Lesson 6 is done, I am not done creating more videos for you. I'm going to be showing you how you can create some different patterns with these same lesson sheets. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do the swirl pattern and another one called the sea urchin. I hope you've enjoyed these six lessons and have found them useful in getting you a better understanding of the creation of these dot mandalas, and I hope I've helped make them fun and relaxing.